This is SAT test 3, calculator question 29. College Board gives us a word problem in which they give us information about the number of left-handed male and female students, the number of right-handed male and female students, and the ratio of left to right for male and for female. This turns out to be a system of equations to find out the numbers of male and female left and right-handers and then they ask us a follow-up question, finding a probability from the table. So first, let's solve the system of equations. We are told there are five times as many right-handed females as there are left-handed females. So I'm going to call the number of left-handed females F and the number of right-handed females is five times as many, so that is 5F. Now for males, we are to told there is nine times as many right-handed males as there are left-handed males. So I'm going to call the number of left-handed males M and the number of right-handed 9M. And as you see, Whatever f is, 5f is 5 times as many, and the same for 9m being 9 times whatever m is. So I've matched that first two-thirds of the problem. There are a total of 118 left-hand students and 122 right-hand students, and that will give me my system of equations. The number of left is f plus m equals 18 and the number of right is 5F is my number of right-handed females, 9M is my number of right-handed males, equals 122. I can rewrite this system in matrix form, taking the coefficients 1, 1, 18, 5, 9, 1, 22. You're allowed to do this only when the variables are in the same order for both equations, and then an equal sign, and then the constant without any variable. So this corresponds to 1f plus 1m equals 18, and 5f plus 9m equals 122. If I ask my calculator for the reduced row echelon form on this matrix, assuming there's a unique solution, I'll get something that starts with 1, 0, 0, 1, and then in this case, 10, 8. If I rewrite this in the form of a system of equations using the same method I used to go from my system to reduce row echelon form, this is 1 times f plus 0 times m equals 10, and 0 times f plus 1 times m equals 8. This gives me the numbers for both f and m, and if I fill those in, f and 5f are f is 10, 5f is 50. And then for m, m is 8, and 9m will be 72. And I can check 10 plus 8 equals 18, 50 plus 72 equals 122. 50 is 5 times 10, 72 is 9 times 8. So the solution I arrived at matches the problem. Using matrices on the calculator is typically the fastest way of solving a system of equations, unless there's some other method that is very natural. But we're not done. Now we need to finish reading the question. The question asks, which of the following is closest to the probability that a right-handed student selected at random is female? When, when I'm finding a probability, I need a numerator and a denominator. The denominator is all the individuals I might have chosen. And here they said probability that a right-handed student. So my denominator is all right-handed students, which is 122. And my numerator is of those right-handed students only. 
So of the right-handed students, how many are female? And 50 out of 122 are female. And that gives me 0 0.4098, which is closest to choice A, 0 0.410. Checking that I've done this problem correctly because it's common to misread a problem and do the correct math for what you're hope, hoping they're asking, but they may ask something different. I have a summary of left and right-handed students, five times as many right-handed females as left-handed females, I did that. Nine times as many right-handed males as left-handed males, I did that. A total of 18 left-handed students, a total of 122 right-handed students. I want the probability that a right-hand student selected at random, that's all 122 right-handers, is female. That's the 50 out of 122 that are female, and that was 0 0.410. So choice A was the correct answer. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.